Hello, everyone. Sandy's just, uh, just hanging out here. Playing his banjo. Hang on, my new thing came off. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> well, that's a good start. Anyway. We, we have a banjo. Um, I did a little run around and I got the banjo out of that basement. I'd forgotten it was there. But as soon as I re-found it, you know. Can't remember what I was doing, honestly. It's been a minute since I played. I know this is like... Like, no one watches any of my videos, but like, turbo no one watches these ones. But also, like, of all the games I play, this is my favourite. So, you gotta allow me when I'm, when I'm chilling out. Like, I, I, I love to play, I love to see Sandy. How's Sandy's doing? I've started watching, like, a lot of different people play this. <laughs> I've been watching Thom Bruce. I lost one of the characters and it was very tragic. It was like one of those, ah, oh, this isn't too scary. I'll just, I'll just push a little bit. You know, I don't have to go back. This is fine. I'm making content. This is a little scary, but it's not too bad. I've had worse. I'll just, just go a little for, oh, it's, uh, oh, it's getting a little rough, but it's fine. I've got, I'm loaded up. I'm, I'm doing well. And then suddenly it wasn't fine. It wasn't fine. Spoilers. Should we eat some cracklings? Yeah, it's definitely a person. I... How are we... We are so happy right now with our banjo and our human flesh. Look how cool this guy is. Oh, the this is so funny. It's, it's got to be the lab, right? I'm hearing lab noises. Oh... It's just ghosts, but either way, it's fine. I made another makeshift glove because my my spear disintegrated. I think I just had to run around all the houses to see if I could find any cool treasure. Uh, I also leveled my electronics to two. Uh, I did that by building flashlights and then disassembling the flashlights and building more flashlights out of the flashlight pads. So, you know, that, that was fun. I'm sorry you missed that. I don't know what I'm going to do with electronics, because I don't really know how to use ele electricity. <laughs> oh, I could build all kinds of pipe gun. I'm sorry, I should be uh, doing things. I think I found a bunch of food and stuff. I think build car headlights, but I don't have the mechanics. But I could train mechanics by destroying things over and over. I can make a flute out of bombs, and a metal axe head, and a hobo stove. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. What do we want? for Sandy in this world. I, I have a plan for today. Eh? We really want to try out... We want to find... We want to go in that lab and find its secrets. To do that, we need to, to load up on stuff. We need bigger guns than the ones we have, as we found out. Uh, your, your 556 assault rifles, it's not gonna, it's not quite gonna cut. Not quite my tempo. Oh, that's the electric car. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Oh, okay, I guess I can't delete that note from here. Um, so the first thing I was gonna do is go check out this, this, this mass grave, this delightful mass grave. We'll bring a wheelbarrow, why not? 
want to be able to carry stuff when we get there. I might need to cook up another boy um, at some point because we have run out. <laughs> but you know, we can do that. That's fine. I want to check out down here. I really want to hit the, the gun stores, the police stations, the museum. There's a museum somewhere. Is it this end? I want to see if there's like a, a cool sword in the museum that Sandy can have. I think Sandy should have another goal though. I haven't decided what it is yet. Because Sandy is... Sandy's a peaceful lad, right? And by peaceful, I mean extremely not peaceful, but... Sandy likes nice things. Sandy likes... likes, uh... Sandy likes the little things, you know? They're, they're just, uh... <laughs> they're a very positive individual. From the east and below. I hear gun. There's a lot of feral humans. Is there three feral humans over there? No, it's just the two. Two delicious, uneaten feral humans. I'm very scared about the lab. I really want, like, an army base, right? Because then it'd help if I could, like, see in the dark. And also... If I had guns that were big enough to to deal with horrible lab creatures. Wait, why am I warm? I only have a leather jacket on now. Come on. It's gonna have to be fine. I am a little worried about having to walk past all these wasp pipes every day when I go out. That I dealt with the being too hot situation. Just a little, just a little too hot. Just a little over. It should be fine. We'll get thirsty a tiny bit faster. Probably should have brought something to drink while we're on our trek. I don't know if this is like worth doing. But I know I have a lot of 9mm bullets. And I know I have a very nice playlist of, uh... Re Hang on. You press... you press this button. Y you aim better. This is new tech. This just in. You can aim your gun. Well, you didn't enjoy that. They tend to run away to cracks when you shoot them. Not this time. What is this? Foot crank. They also tend to be. Yeah! Uh. Um, I'm not really seeing a lot of treasure here, unfortunately. Unless a polycabinet sheet. They are lab people though, right? So I gotta take the wallet, just in case. Because, you know, what would really help is a lab keycard. As far as I'm aware. I've never been in the lab. I'm sorry, Crack. You just, uh... You just don't got it. Should I take all the clothes and, like... Destroy them? Let's unload those wallets. I want to see if I got one. Science ID card! And a Rockingham handwritten note. I... Wheelbarrow? Okay, no.
Here's Rockingham. Here's me. What did we add? Did we add anything? We know there's a lab in the subway. But like... Can I change sea level? Did it add that? It's just telling me about my dang... Subway station? Subway station? Did it add that? <laughs> did it make... Did it add that question mark? <laughs> Do I want... To take everyone's clothes? I... It's a good way to find... Clothes that are trashed, right? And then I can try and fix them, or... I don't know. I always just kind of ignore, um, rotten, uh, not rotten, like zombie clothes. Partly because you used to just be able to wear them and it was fine when I first started playing. And then I was like, this is, this is silly. I'm just going to pretend they don't exist. Um, and partly because... I want to have to deal with it. <laughs> I'm real lazy and I don't want to clean them. None of these, none of these things fit. Which is normal. Sandy's a very small lad. Sandy Soriano. Very rat-like uh, individual. Is there a... Okay, the prison might be a bit too far, but I've heard prisons can have lab stuff going on. Why does the church go underground, the cathedral? Just basement. Just, just a cathedral basement. It's normal. I really don't know what got added to my map. <laughs> Extremely tragic. Unusual stone ban. That's that robot place, right? Is this a secret? Why do I know there's a road stop here? I, 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 <laughs> if you know what got added. <laughs> Would love to hear your thoughts on this. very sad when someone's character dies while watching. Ah. Oh. I kind of, uh... Oh, newspaper page. We need those. I should, like, do a, do a read of the newspaper pages that we have got. What are you doing over there, cattle dog? Could I tame an army of dogs and then hide them in a basement because I'm too scared that they'll die? And then... I could have a feral run down into the basement and throw rocks at all of them? But they'll probably survive because they're not rats. What do you think of this plan? So dang hot out there, cat. Wear my coat, my my leather coat. It's crazy. What's this structure? It's just an unfinished. Uh, yeah, it's one of those crap shacks. We we understand. And uh, there are the ants around, and that is a problem. But now we can go by road. We really shouldn't have to deal with any of the ants. Would be kind of weird if we did. What's down there? Oh. More sewer gas. Is the like weird gas vents and stuff? Does that mean you're above a lab, or is it actually just sewers? It's just just poop slime coming out of the sewers. 
Can I go in the sewers and live in the trash and be a big trash baby? Do they have that technology in the game? To be a big trash baby? Works for... For the lad here. Hello, Pitbull Mix. How you doing, Pitbull Mix? I am... I'm nice. Uh, do not assault me. I mean, definitely use the, uh... The hotel as a staging point for the attack. Although I'm not really sure we need to. I was thinking about crossing the river. I really would like to cross the river. But I need a crossing that's, like, not a nightmare. Ooh, a zombie dog fighting. Something. I think. Is it attacking me? Well, I should probably... I should probably get rid of that lad, you know? How's my... Why is my leather jacket so full of crap? It's not encumbering me, so it's just, like, pennies and things. Oh, my denim shorts could be doing better, I think. I have my makeshift glove, I have all of my bad things off, this is fine, we should be able to smash a dying zombie dog. And I didn't even damage my weapon on the first time I swung it, so that's lovely. This is really nice with the rain sounds. Just some very, very chill cataclysm, nothing bad has ever happened here. Not to Sandy, except for that one time with the mosquito. But Sandy doesn't even think about that anymore. We don't talk about that. You feel your torso getting warm. Okay. We're not 100%. This is... Ugh. There's a few lads there. It's literally just this area that I want to go here for. And these crates. The crates tend to have good stuff. They can have guns, they can have uh, MREs, which are lovely. What size army of zombies is it worth fighting for that, though? Well, I think we're moving the wheelbarrow out of the way. I don't know why I brought it this far, to be honest. It's a little silly. Can I put my Uzi in my jacket? Or is it a little big? Ah, oh, I was gonna rename my Uzi the Crunkler or something. That's a... It's a big old in-joke from my silly streams. Hey, I stream? Did you know I stream? I stream on Twitch. I'm sorry. Hmm. I would like a backup weapon, but I just don't have one is the is the is the issue there. So let's not worry about that too much. Newspaper page, we need those. I do want to assemble as many as I can. Let's see if I can find out a little bit about what's going on in this world. Do you reckon if I shoot my gun, I'll lure a big portion of these, these lads down? It's too dense over here. Gas mask cartridges, oxygen tanks, Stanag magazines, dead man with nothing on him, dead man with nothing on him, platinum dental grill though that I can apparently just plug in even though it belongs to a dead guy, you love to see that. I'm shooting my gun.
Uh, yeah, we definitely got a few of them. Uh, we got a little bit of attention there. I think they're very interested in where I fired the shot from, but not necessarily in where I am, which is fine by me. My Uzi is in my duffel bag, which isn't an ideal situation. Can I fight this single zombie on his own? The thing I learned from uh, from watching. Tom Bruce's incident. The thing I think I learned is a valuable lesson about putting the hordes between yourself and your escape route, right? I think that's what... Well, that's one of many things that went wrong. Also, don't use up all your stamina. Come on, boys! Tough zombie. And we'll just keep picking them off. I'm surprised that they're that interested in the spot I fired from. Like, I know... Please let me go. I know they go towards sound. Obviously. That hurt a little bit. Um, straw fedora on a plastic bag that probably has crack in it. Why am I, uh, the contents of all my, <laughs> all my things hidden? Is that normal? No one else seems to have this issue. I think there were just garbage in that bag as well. You had to see it. Hmm, fighting with an axe is hard and shooting with a gun is very easy in comparison. The problem being there's about 10,000 zombies. And just one sander. It's a bad ratio. I have enough bullets for that many zombies. I have been using uh, bullets very aggressively in this one. But... They're not paying us to bring them home, right? They're not paying us at all. Plus, if, if the... Bullets make our life a little easier. Is that not just a lot better than uh, them just sitting in my storeroom in a, in a weird uh, like prepper hard forever? I would suggest yes. This is this changes everything. This being able to aim. Does it change everything? It probably changes nothing. Can I have just like one or two? I, I was hoping I wouldn't quite get all of them. <laughs> With, uh, with, with, uh, that little flurry of activity. I want to run back and get my, uh, stuff again. Hey, guy, make a move. You gonna fall down, guy? He's probably gonna fall down. I'd love it if you fell down. I have a lot of bullets, but I don't want to use all of them, you know?
they're a lot more spread out now. And, uh... Oh, fuck you, I said it can! <laughs> Sorry, I, uh... You know, wiggle around a lot with these. I just, I just want to get it done right. Okay, Uzi cannot go in, uh... I think the ants might be checking out the sound, which is a problem. Because the sound is caused by me and is at the point that I am at. Two guys should be no problem. They got winged a little bit by that tough zombie, but it's fine. Also, I should probably have, you know, broke the cops, but I guess we'll do that after now. The regular zombie should soundly outpace. The fat zombie? Just want him coming at us in a re relatively straight line. Because, otherwise we can't... The, you know, they can come in from the, the weird diag diagonals and we, we hate to see it. Uh... Carrying a bag of cash chews? That sounds lovely. Cashews. Did you grab me? Holy shit. He was really red, eh? Just a zombie. Just a zombie incoming. No problem. Just don't want to get any closer to him. There are two tough zombies in that little, little ball over there. You know what? Let's, let's jog a little bit. There we go. It's getting better at this, you know. It's our resident uh, glaive haver, Sandy Soriano. I sit down. I don't make me shoot you, because I'll do it. And you'll hit it. I've shot acid ants before. It's just, just kind of a hassle. Just those creatures. There's a, they're, they're relatively hassle intensive. I'd prefer if they didn't. Y'all done. Less of them around now than the war. I think I prefer just pressing F and P to faffing around with that, honestly. You're downed? What bad zombie? We should be fine with these. Although, just in case. Are you gonna reach me? Am I gonna get to stab you with my glaive? I don't believe you got hit. I'm mad as hell. What are you doing, Acid Ant? Why you like this acid ant? Urban Explorers map? Love to see it. SD card? I, 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 I don't love to see it, but I'm... I'm reasonably happy to see it. Ooh, full battery smartphone. It must have charged it uh, after becoming a zombie. I think, uh, I don't know, 
I've been worrying about the, the like nutrition system and things recently. I'm not sure how I, I'll know exactly that Sandy's been too active. Because he is real busy. He's a very busy lad. He kills a lot of things. That grappler zombie is probably something we should shoot. There's like a grappler zombie and a grabber zombie and the different things. I don't need a USB drive. Uh, oh yeah, it's the one that pulls you in. Well, back to the gun. <laughs> I think we're doing a relatively good job here. And you know, I am... As much as uh, we want to make reasonably watchable content here, Mostly I'm just playing this game because I find it really relaxing to play on a morning. And also, uh... Oof, there's a lot of lads over there. I can't remember why I have that sentence we're going to end, so it'll just have to end with and also. Is that the crap? Nah, I don't think it will. Let's try and not lure all of them. When we blow this zombie away. But really, I think we're not good at all with this uh, Uzi. Do you want to like fall down? I do. I am. It's probably correct to kite the zombies that are almost certainly going to bleed out for a while. But it's really annoying. And it can take forever. Come on, zombie. Jesus, how much blood was in that idiot? All these dang zombies aren't even wearing clothes. What bad zombies? Okay. Grappler zombie, is your eyes bad? I think your eyes are bad, grappler zombie. I think you have the bad eyes. Because I'm walking around in front of you and you're not you're not doing nothing about it. And you're a zombie, so that's kind of your thing. You're done. Yeah. Mm. Okay, grappler zombies see me now. Which is fine. Whoop. Let's shoot him from a little further out. Decent hits. I'm a little concerned by a little damage he was taking from those. It's fine. And who's coming to investigate? Just some regular zombies. I wanna glaive them. It's very important that uh, Sandy levels up his glaiving ability. This is how I deal with hordes. Uh, I don't know. There's probably a more efficient way. It'd be nice if I had hand grenades and things. Although, I do always blow myself up with hand grenades. I honestly, like... What? Yeah, I hear zombie. How is he doing that? Repeatedly? There he goes. Permanent mecha, huh? Sounds great. I, I thought grenades were just, like, not worth using because they're so... I, mean, I I blow my own limbs off with them so often. Every single time I, like, try and use grenades for any significant task, even insignificant tasks, I always blow myself up. Yeah, just destroying Felton's body. I both failed to destroy Felton's body and destroyed one of my arms. Or legs, or something. Something got hurt. I don't believe this... I'm not even gonna say it. Let me jog back a little. I can reach weapons are like... 
the biggest game changer when you're you're learning this this game. Being able to hit them without having to without necessarily getting hit back immediately. It's kinda good. Ooh, you were carrying an adventure novel. That seems that sounds lovely. You have a book on uh batting? I know the tough zombies aren't that dangerous, but they always get me, so I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> Look, we brought the gun for a reason, right? We didn't bring the gun to not shoot zombies. I am pretty confident about, you know, getting some good aims in on these, though. There's uh, still a lot more than we'd like coming. I was hoping I'd lure some into the forest and they'd, like, get eaten by ants or just wander off and not be able to see anything. I don't know why I wanted that, because, like... You know they're gonna come back when they hear you shooting gun all over the dang place. You're gonna bleed out. I believe. Nothing but fair. Still bleeding? Still bad bleeding? You, you're gone. You're gone. There he goes. I told him. I saw that acid ant and uh, I saw him from a place I wasn't expecting to see him. And that worries me a little bit. Let me drop all this trash that I've picked up. I have found some good stuff here. Um, I'm going to keep the science ID cards because I'm never putting them down. Is why. This stuff's all going to get... Uh, this music's lovely. Uh, <laughs> this stuff's all going to get picked up later. I'm just going to dump it in my... Uh, Probably don't need a Swiss Army knife when I have an Exacto knife. You enjoying the show, Ant? Just because my pockets were full and like that makes me worry that I've got more encumbrance than I realize. Uh, change my mind again. The very glavable over there. I've used a lot of bullets today. That crack I could probably go in my glove, but they are tricky. They got a lot of dodge. Um. Yeah, and I'm shooting him with the right call. Uh, dubiously the right call against the zombies, but definitely against the crack. I feel like uh. An early game character can probably beat a crack, but it's probably gonna hurt. Okay, zombie child and the hazmat zombie. The zombie child should outpace the hazmat zombie, I think. I learned that zombie children do more damage than most zombies recently. They have... They're little bastards. They also tear up your clothes real good. Because they do cutting damage instead of regular damage. I don't know. Hey, I'm real dumb. Just, just keep that in mind when I tell you things. Stamina's good. Weariness is holding up. And we're not doing, like, heavy manual labor or nothing. We're just doing some, some light zombie hunting. I like this strat, luring him with the bullet, then uh, picking a bunch of them off with a glaive. You know, because the glaive doesn't draw gigantic cards in when you use it. 
Oh, marijuana, my favorite. Hmm. Tough zombie spotted me from further away than the kid. You had to see it. But now we know. Can I get you? Could you be convinced to come over some weird terrain? There he goes. No damage. The normal again. But I'm learning slower. One day I might even be not trash at this game. It's possible. All I'm saying. Oh, I'm real miserable because I've killed too many zombie children. Hang on, let me eat some human flesh. Am I still that sad? Minus 73! <laughs> yeah, I'm still that sad. Oh, I wish I brought my banjo. Uh, might have to take a quick murder break to recover from killing all those zombie kids. This is fine. I think I cleared this place out pretty good though, unfortunately. I'm gonna bring the... actually I had to... I did have a read thing. I do have a read thing. Roads and abandoned buildings. Sounds S. Sounds distinctly S there. Plus it's the place that I already have, like, pretty extensively explored, right? Yeah, we're rocking them. Mmm, pretty trash. Oh, never mind. I've left a gallon jug of cheap wine here. And I thought I'd looted properly. Oh, and the mineral water. Mineral water is actually good. I'm thirsty from being too hot all day because of my stupid coat. Um, I will drink some... If I get blasted... <laughs> well, I'll have some mineral water. And then we'll... Uh... What's Bristol cream? Fine sherry. Good grief. I mean, you can't be sad when you're really drunk, right? Just two. And he's still sad. And damp. Why are you damp? Why is your leg damp? Why is his leg damp? <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> He's like a toddler. Sandy Soriano, why are you why are you sticky? Why are you what have you touched? Why are you like Sandy? Ah, uh, what do we do? Some ill-fitting cargo shots. Ah, I'll bring them with me. Oh shit. I already filled up my wheelbarrow. Can I disassemble this? Soldering iron with 10 charges needed. You hit to hear it. Hunting cap. I do want to collect a, a good selection of hats. We've swapped out hat for now, by the way. We're wearing a baseball hat. A, a nice baseballist's hat. Um... Which has a little bit of protection. This is where I was hanging out with the rat. Uh, the rat? I, I can still hear him sometimes when I close my eyes. No, the, uh, the ant. 
the ant. Ant is a different thing from rat. This is this just in. This is where I smash the door down with a lump of steel. I really wish this had an engine. I could use the uh, power, right? Sir, I'm really bored of waiting for you to cool down about doing some light zombie child murders. Did I check the little box here? Well, I ain't got anything in now, so probably. Hmm. No fucking seat. What is with these cars? <laughs> How do you lose that? My focus is ass right now, cause uh, cause of the misery. Do a quick rifling through some of those just to get a little bit of survival experience and waste a little bit more time. We're feeling a lot better now, honestly. We had a walk around, we got a little bit shit first. We're only tipsy. I could get more drunk. <laughs> I have the, the capacity to be more drunk than I am now. Well, I don't want to, like, destroy my stats while I'm doing a fight. Okay, we're, we're like, of reasonable morale now. Love to hear it. Ooh, zombie soldier. Lots of armor and cutting armor specifically. Which means my glaive won't do as much to him, but it is a powerful weapon. It's a good glove. Okay, finally got your attention, tough zombie. It took bloody forever. Let's get some nice terrain for you to walk over for me. How about this bush? Do you want to go in this shrub? I'd love it if you went in that shrub. Hmm. You didn't go in the shrub. I should not have done that. Maybe I'm getting too confident. Pressing the wait button too aggressively. You really want to be careful about like holding buttons down in Cataclysm. Uh, I think there's more than when I started. No, there's definitely less. There's just still lots. Still, it's a little disheartening to have worked so hard and yet still have so much work to do. I'm not sure if like more just come out of the holes as I'm killing them and this whole thing's kind of pointless, but you know. It'll be good practice for Sander. He's gotta do a lot of murders in his day to day. And he's got- he's getting shelled pistachios out of this. And that's not nothing. Hazmat zombie. Do they like zombie soldiers have goggles on so they can't see good? Is that a newspaper page over there? We need those. We're, we're, we're putting together a comprehensive history of the cataclysm. It's one of the things we do in our free time. Our other, um... Why is a radiation biome on Earth? 
checks your current level of radiation exposure. I'd not thought of that. Is this radioactive? Is everything in this video game radioactive? Is every place radioactive? It could be. This is, uh, Rayman. Raymond is occurring. We are definitely getting closer. Just keep picking them off. Feels woozy. Getting, getting drunk and then fighting with a weapon that has a bad hit modifier might be a dubious decision. It's possible. I, this is looking more and more doable. And I wasn't sure if we'd just have to make a speedy exit when I, when I started and this whole episode would just be a big old list of time. I don't really know what, like, treasure we can expect from this. I don't really... All I really know that would need is a bigger rifle than the one we've got. And I mean, the lab key cat were a good find. I think that means the turrets won't shoot us, but I really don't want to try. Like, I don't want to find out. Those turrets are bad news. That is the zombie soldier. You love to see it. He's going to take some stabbing, though. He's wearing a ballistic vest. So we want to stab around the ballistic vest, ideally. Five? That's not great. Three? He has lost some blood. Okay, this is, uh... Gonna take a minute. No damage. We really just need to get a clean hit on something that doesn't have armor on it. How's the bleeding? Well, he's bleeding twice. But not all that badly. That's what we want. His head is badly bleeding. Okay, we're getting a little took it out now. Hmm. If we just plant our feet and stab him, we win the fight, but we are gonna take some hits. He's hurt enough they'll probably bleed out. I think the best option is to burn the stamina though. Jesus. Okay, what do I win? A uh, grenade! <laughs> combat knife would be really nice actually. I do need a backup weapon. And the combat knife is a perfect backup weapon for my little guy here. Let's drag him over. Uh, where will I remember? Put him near this tree. Everyone remember? The, the guy near the tree. Can I wear my runner pack and then put a big knife in it? We got a little... He got us on the hand once, but honestly, we're doing fine. The hydration pack's decent. It's like very low encumbrance, right? Zero if I don't... 
have anything in it. But does it take up the same place as my runner pack? Yes. So I should hold off on wiring it. Our stamina's back, we're feeling great. We can just get right back into it. We actually are feeling great. Plus 25. I mean, there's still, like... <laughs> the area to the north that we haven't really touched, but... Other than that... We're in a great old day. Look at that guy, he didn't even do nothing. Why is no one fighting me? Who's this guy? It's a zombie child. Why are you not fighting me, zombie child? I can get pretty, pretty far up now. For some reason I just lost focus on the window, that was worrying. It's fine. Oh, we're still in it. I've been going an hour, I'm sorry. I've just been stabbing zombies for an hour and wittering. Like I say, I do just look for excuses to play this, because I find it very relaxing. <laughs> it's one of my favorite games right now. Like, legit, this game owns. <laughs> <laughs> and I've really enjoyed learning it. And playing, uh... Very relaxing music while I do. I could just like the the argument could be made. <sighs> We're miserable again. That um like if I play this just to just to chill out. Do we need? Ooh, they look very weird. We have. Really cleared this place out though. Huh. Are we that that miserable? Uh it's not great. To really up the amount that it's bad to Ooh, the pupating zombie's not good either. Do I hate to see that? Like I could just be playing this offline. But I really enjoy just uh, getting into commentary mode for this for some reason. I don't even I don't I don't know why. I realized recently that I just like <laughs> I like the person I am when I'm doing commentary mode. I wouldn't say I necessarily put on a character, but you you do uh, you do act different when you are recording yourself, right? Oh, had to explain. It's, it's commentary mode. You know commentary mode. Let's get back to the grass. I didn't realize it was a big one. Thank you for going in the big grass. Got nothing, tough zombie. We have gotten a lot better at smashing these these idiots over the course of our day of uh, of doing battle with them. We're actually learning quite a lot about our weapons as well. <laughs> I think we've leveled up in bashing, cutting, and melee. Uh, the the weapon we're using is mostly a cutting weapon, but it has not insignificant bashing as well. So we are getting XP for both. There's, like, a performative element to anything where you know it could potentially be watched, right? Like, even if you're not putting on a character, you are behaving differently because you you are observed. And I like uh, being Fruity Spruce for a little while and so... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do if the pupating zombie sees me. Probably run away. 
I, I don't know if it's one of the healing ones or if it's one of the fire's flesh raptors at you ones. If it's fire's flesh raptor, I really do need my gun out for that. Because they're bastards. Properly hard to hit. It's not that close, right? It's right at the back. Acid zombie doesn't shoot, right? They just have acid blood. Do we want to get at least some treasure here before we uh, wrap up? That was incredibly easy. Acid zombie, I'm disappointed. If I dismember... Yeah, I can't get bodied by that. This just in. Use the dismember option to not uh, get owned by acid zombie blood. Ha! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just love it when I win. Yo, zombie, do you want to go through this acid? Do zombies care about acid? I mean, I know they'll walk into... I, don't... I think zombies care about acid. Anyway. Can't carry the C4 right now, but, you know. We'll have to make do with just the incendiary grenade. This is a big shame for us. This is very nice music. <laughs> no pizza tower this time. Oh, yeah, I am still gonna get pizza tower, it looks great. And I keep hearing people talk about how great it is. Boomer. That's fine. Just lure him away a little bit and let him do his thing. Ooh. You're coming closer. That's not what we like to see. I do have a fire grenade, but I'm pretty sure if I use it, I will light myself on fire. I'm like 70% sure that that would happen. And there goes that guy. I think being lit on fire in this game is like real bad. Also in real life, being lit on fire is not good. I would not suggest it? I would suggest trying to avoid it actively, honestly. I'd, I'd go that far. I was hoping there'd be like some, some, some good army stuff here. What do you reckon, uh... Do you think we could, uh, kill a big gunk monster with a fire grenade? We need to train throwing up a couple levels just to make sure I don't drop the fire grenade on my own head. You went through the tent. How rude. Uh, I'd like it if the boomer wasn't keeping pace with the zombie so well. But I guess we can't have everything. I'd also like it if I could hit the guy. You I'm not afraid of. We're a little guy, we're good at dodging. What can you what can you say? Oh, there's another guy coming. Don't I go through this uh the pink slime doesn't do anything, does it? But what off? The SD card. Some of those might have something on. I have to remember to check at some point. I again I've I've like comes close I'm not happy but I'm fine with it just existing and by fine I mean it not fine but I, I I understand that it exists so pupating zombie you're gonna be annoying huh 
Uh, if it's flesh raptors, it'll see us, then explode. And the little guys will come out. Wait, I have my Uzi on me, do how, how have I got... Oh, is it in my runner pack? Where are you, Uzi? Where's my Uzi? Was it on the floor? That would make sense. Uzi's not a lot of damage. If it's healing, I, I really don't know if I got the firepower I'd need here. Maybe if I get up close and, and blast him, like, with the full R? Walking into a box. That's not... Exactly what I had in mind. There he is. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Two quick ones. How much ammo did that use, actually? 12 shots. Worth it, I say, to not have to deal with a pupating zombie. You see, my AK can't go full auto. If it could, I think that'd, that'd help a lot with the big lumpers that we're having so much trouble with. But, you know, I have fire grenades now, so uh, we'll be back. In between uh, episodes, we'll probably want to try and uh, learn a little about. What am I talking about? Can I outwalk you, fat zombie? I can. I don't need to run. You're too large, fat zombie. I'm sorry, fat zombie. I don't mean to be rude. Okay, we are clear. Near as I can tell. You know what would be cool if there was a gas mask to go with all these gas mask cartridges? The round the magazine has no ammo in it. Is this? Oh, gas mask. Okay, this is something. I, I am gonna have to go back and get my duffel bag to to take the spoils here. But this is this isn't nothing, right? Gas mask real handy in a lot of situations. It's a lot of things you don't want to breathe in the cataclysm. I'm a little disappointed the magazine doesn't have any bullets in it. But on the whole, uh, I enjoyed the experience. I killed a lot of guys. I did it relatively safely. Yeah, we took a tiny bit of damage, but like, we never went above minimal pain, right? We have dynamite, incendiary grenades, C4 explosives. You know, that stuff's just worth worth coming out. So it's worth coming out for. Are there any more wonderful crits? Of... Ooh, I did a big yawn. Uh, wonderful crits of delightful surprises. There are potentially situations where having more than one gas mask could be helpful. Why did you only pick up eight? You goober. I told you to pick up 200 gas mask cartridge and you picked up eight. Body bag. Used to hold body. 
It's real bad here. Level 3 clean surface, you say? Wow. Oof. At least the bodies aren't gonna get back up. It's a little, uh... It's kind of a downer, you know? Having a prize for winning be... A field of corpses. No, a, a prize for winning is, is the grenades. This is... This is fine. It's just a little bit of a somber moment. And you know, the knowledge that, the knowledge, that Sandy Soriano can look after himself. And we still got 30 bullets to spare, and we will probably head back home. And we can check out over here though. Like, why all these roads lead to nowhere? What's the deal with that? What's here? What's a bee? Why have you added a desolate band to my, uh, to my map? Game? That's weird. That's a weird thing of you to do. Just add a desolate band to my map for no reason. When I look at a science map. Oh, it could be the, uh, Urban Explorer one either. Like, we hope it's the science one, so we can have <laughs> another go at getting, a, getting in a lab, but it, it, it could, could not be that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get murdered horribly as soon as I go in the lab. But hey, we'll experience that together and it'll be lovely. Abandoned textile mill. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of different types of building. More than you know, more than you, more than you think. Anyway, this episode's gone on long enough. Thank you for, for hanging out with me as I have a nice morning playing Cataclysm. Me and Sandy, of course. Sandy, uh, Sandy, Sandy loves you. Sandy loves going out, getting drunk, eating a person, and just friendship. <laughs> Alright folks, I'll see you next time. Bye!